Alright, what's up, fellas? Detroit Lions cuts T's Tabor today, man. Also, uh, Andrew Adams. Andrew Adams is uh, probably more of a shocker to me than uh, T's Tabor. Obviously, we all knew that was going to happen, but uh, Andrew has made a lot of plays over the training camp and over uh, the preseason, so uh, that's definitely a shocker for me. Uh, it's going to be a lot of shockers today, unfortunately, man. When you're cutting down on a 53-man roster, man, uh, a lot of guys are going to be cut. A lot of guys are going to be cut and will return on a, the practice squad, but, um, yeah, for the bigger names, you know, it obviously sucks, man. Um, yeah, Adams was definitely good, man. What's up to everybody, man, uh, that's jumped in? Oh, man, Big Mike Giovanni. Oh, man. Ah, uh, what up? What up? What up? What up? Yeah, it is, man. But you know, that injury killed him. You know, what I'm saying when he injured himself in that training that training camp I went to, man, I knew that you know it feels something significant to keep him out of the rest of the camp. He was gonna get cut because um, he had improved. He definitely improved. Anybody who went to the to the live training camps. You could tell he improved, but, you know, not being able to uh, partake in training camp and not being able to partake in preseason games is going to get you cut. Simple as that, man. Uh, if you do clear waivers, man, he could be re-signed to the practice squad. That is a possibility. Uh, will he clear waivers? Who knows? Probably will. I don't know. Uh, will they bring him back to the, the practice squad? Who knows? But it's a possibility, so let's just put that on out there. Uh, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Yeah, that's the deadline, but there's going to be a lot of guys gone before then. Uh, by that time come, man, it's going to be, you know, <laughs> I mean, people putting in work right now. A lot of franchises putting in work right now. They letting guys go. Uh, you know, the Raiders let, let one of their linebackers go. That shocked the hell out of their fan base. Their fan base is going nuts over it. So um, dudes is getting the chop now. This today is cut day. <laughs> yeah, man. Ah, right, man, I appreciate that, uh, Eric. Man, I, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying, man. Definitely trying. Yeah, we should grab him, man. Uh, I don't know. We got enough. You know what I'm saying? Right now, and it's looking like uh, Jared Davis probably end up being coming back. Uh, I was, what was that? The Eagles game. Uh, week three, week four of the season. He said he feel good. I so it might be sooner than that, but you know it is what it is. Christian Jones. I don't know why people don't like Christian Jones. He ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Marshall ain't great either. So you know what, man? Last time I tried to stream a game, I end up being not uh, able to stream for three months. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, man, but yeah, that's definitely gonna be an exciting day, man. I can't wait. We are nine days away from football, man. Opening game of the season in Arizona, We're gonna beat their ass in front of their fans. That's what I'm talking about. Ragnar, they said should be ready for week one. Should be. Uh, it was really a minor ankle sprain. It was something like you tweak your shit coming down the stairs. It was really like that. Oh, yeah, man. Bo Benchoir. Oh, yeah. He definitely going to get some playing time. They going to use them. You can, I, you can, I, I, I'll bet you on that one. <laughs> I want Josh Johnson, to be honest, over Tom Savage. Tom Savage, to me, no. I don't care how strong his arm is, no. You can't hit a guy five feet in front of you. I don't give a damn how strong your arm is. Man, man, man. My biggest question mark, Mark Thompson. What are they going to do with Mark Thompson, man? How many tight ends are they going to keep? How many receivers are they going to keep? Obviously, how many running backs are they going to keep? That's the question, man. The offense is really the question for the cut. 
defense. The defense is we got enough players on defense where I'm comfortable if they make any cut. You know what I'm saying? We got some young guys, man, that's pretty pretty talented. So the offense is the question for me, man. Yeah, he did, man. He came in here, what, two weeks? You know what I'm saying? And he had a good showing? Um, Definitely. Definitely, man. You know, after that first game, everybody jumped off the bridge. I'm like, dude, been here for three days. You know what I'm saying? Just, just give him a minute. Now, imagine if he had a whole training camp with the playbook. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I would definitely keep Josh Johnson. He has an ability that a lot of people don't have. Which is use his feet. What do I think about Nada? I would definitely keep Nada. I would keep Nada, man. Like I said, you know, his production at Georgia, it wasn't a fluke. You see what I'm saying? You keep the keep him, develop him. You know what I'm saying? Keep him and develop him. I would keep him. And he played two positions. He can play fullback. So, I mean, hey, I'd definitely keep him. He had a game with, um, he dropped a few passes, but that was all nerves, man. I mean, come on, these are kids we're talking about. That was nerves, man. Keep the young fella developing, man. Let him get used to the speed of the game. And, you know, hey. Yeah, yeah, run that read option, man. Look at these dudes out here running the read option. Man, listen, I always like Brandon Powell. I've been raving for him for a while to get some type of opportunity. When he got that at the end of the season last year in a few games, he produced. Let him produce for you, uh, you know, if I'm the Detroit Lions. But also, I like Fulgham a lot. Fulgham has some big playability. So I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely on board if they take those two for the fourth and fifth spot. They've been cut fails. Fails gone already. Yes, younger is definitely better. Defense gonna be fun, man. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to watch that defense, dude. They be they be out there flying around for real. What up, though, OG? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. That's the tough part, man, because Amadola is looking good, man. Like I was telling y'all during training camp when I was there, this dude, he looks fast. He's in excellent shape. He ain't lying about that. He is in excellent fucking shape. So we'll see how that lasts throughout the season. But if he was to go down, I'm comfortable with Brandon Powell putting in that slot work. Simple as that. Only, my only concern is the offensive line. Simple as that. That is my only concern right now. When I when it comes to concerns, we can always get better, obviously, but when it comes to concern, the only thing I'm concerned with is offensive line. I don't know what the hell that second unit is about. Them dudes is, oh my God, man. Oh my God, Tyrell Crosby. Good Lord. I want to know why they cut him. <laughs> Was it just casualty based? I need to look at their roster. Oh, you do stuff like that. I, I want to see. Now, listen. The Lions, say fences, they don't want to go with Savage or Josh Johnson. It's a couple of guys that's about to become available, man. It is definitely a couple of guys that's about to become available. I sat there and watched the Patriots game, and I was watching Stidham. I like Stidham. I like I liked him when he was here. Stidham, he, he tore our asses up. I like Stidham, and that's Carrion's ex-teammate. What up, though? Yeah, the starters, as long as they're healthy. Man, that backup unit is scary. Like these, you just letting people run through you? You don't think Stidham leaving the Pats?
<laughs> what you think about uh, Brandon Marshall, man, from the Raiders? J Mo. <laughs> I did too, to be honest. I mean, shoot, you can't do no more than what the fuck he did throughout uh, training camp and preseason. No, I'm definitely, I'm ready for the pissing season to start. I am ready for the pissing season to start, man. They are going to surprise some people this year. Is that East is weak. Weak, I tell you. Now that's the sunlight, man. <laughs> I'm out here working out right now, man. So, oh man. Now the sun was in my face. But yeah, I'm always angry, to be honest. Troxel, what's up? What's up, man? What is going on? Yeah, Tavon may be better than Adams, but my thing is produce. That's all I want to see is production. Pick some, make some, get some picks. Simple as that. We need turnovers. Yeah, but man, the, the price is too high for Clowney. For somebody who can't stay healthy, no. We just got rid of that. Oh, man, I appreciate that, Noah. Thanks for the $5 donation, man. I appreciate that, for real. I definitely support my team. So I'm trying to read some of these, but, man, goodness. Man, I don't know. We'll see what happened with Shea, man. You know, he's a, he, he's supposed to progress. We'll see, according to Harbaugh with his slow ass. <laughs> we'll see, man. He was on the radio yesterday, sound like a, a straight, retarded student. <laughs> like, would you spit it out? I just want to smack him in the back of the head so he can spit the words out. Yeah, it is what it is. That's what I said. Same thing I said. It is what it is, man. Hey, maybe you know something I don't. Whatever. I can't stand him. I can't stand him. I do not like Harbaugh, man. I didn't like him when we got him. Overrated is... is that's an understatement. Powell or Agnew? I'm going with Agnew. Hey, I'm going with Agnew, man. He got the hardware doing the job, so I'm going with him. But I, I listen, I wouldn't mind Paul either. When it comes to returning that football. Yeah, this is live, man. Yeah, I know, in the daytime, with the sun out. With the sun out, man. Cricket just won't shut up. I want to go find him and kill it so bad.
Would I keep both of who? Are you talking about uh, Agnew? And they both are going to make the roster, if that's what you want to know. You think so, huh? I mean, Agnew got a resume that he done it during the season. Powell got a resume where he just did it in the preseason game. And it's fresh and it's new. So, you know, people like, man, he should be to such and such. Agnew's done it in actual games. Amongst the elite. So, you know, it is what it is. What up, though, man? <laughs> Desert Dog, what's up, man? What's going on, sir? Man, I don't know. I don't know, Troxel. Any new cuts, I'm not sure. I need to get to Twitter, man, and, and do my thing. I just wanted to come in here and give y'all the update, man, for about a good 20 minutes. Got people blowing my phone up, obviously. I got a lot going on today, so, yeah. Yeah, Mark Thompson is a, a beast, man. Big beast. Big beast. Run people over is what he can do. I love it. What's going on, man? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, he had a good game yesterday, but before that, you know, he really didn't. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's an obvious cut for me. I'd be interested to see who I'll make the practice squad. That's another thing that'll be interesting. Who makes the practice squad? You know, A, they being cautious with him with that injury, man. I don't even know what the, the injury is or the extent of it, but uh, they said he shouldn't miss any time, so, I mean... You ain't really got to, you know, I mean, with what he do, you don't really have to force the, the uh, issue and put him out there. So, I mean, it is what it is. If no, nobody grabs EZ, I wouldn't mind it. Keep him around. He's been around for the longest. He's always reliable. Keep him around. No problem with that. Yeah, man, Tom is just a big boy, man. Big bruiser, nice feet, good hands. I like it a lot. Summers is nice. I, I forgot to mention him in my video last night. Summers is nice. I liked him. He had two solid preseason games. Probably week week three or week four for Davis, man. <sighs> Absolutely not, Mr. Assassin. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I knew he would be the first one. He didn't play yesterday. I knew it was a wrap. I knew it was a wrap after he got injured, to be honest, during tra uh, training camp. All is well, guys, son. Appreciate it. Yeah, Ragnar will be fine. Yeah, he'll be back. They said he they said he'll be back in, uh, in week one. So look forward to hearing that he had, you know, practicing this week. 
but Jared Davis said he felt good, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. They say he should be good to go for week one uh, as far as right now. Who's opposite? Next to Slay. I don't know, man. Ah. It's probably... Y'all, I gotta take this call, man. It's my pops. <laughs> he keep calling me. 